Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Kajamko with your political news update for Wednesday, July 20th. The ball has started to roll in Washington. Last night, House members passed a cut, cap, and balance deficit reduction plan backed by Tea Party conservatives. It places strict caps on all future federal spending while making it a lot tougher to raise taxes. This plan also includes a requirement that Congress pass a balanced budget amendment to the Constitution before agreeing to extend the federal debt ceiling. The measure is exactly what staunch conservatives keep calling for and Democrats fighting against. But President Obama already promised to veto this measure, who instead backed a plan put out by the Gang of Six. This framework will allow the government to raise the debt ceiling, but without such drastic measures as the House passed. Under this plan, three tax brackets could be created depending on income. It's meant to raise an additional $1 trillion to put against the deficit. In addition, Medicare's growth rate would take a hit, as well as spending at the Pentagon. While the plan has the backing of senators from both sides, some say there may not be enough time to pass it before the debt ceiling is reached. And overseas, Prime Minister David Cameron regrets hiring former News of the World editor Andy Coulson, but can't do much about it now. Coulson resigned from his post as Cameron's communication director in January, but was later arrested in connection to the phone hacking scandal at the UK tabloid. Cameron says if Coulson is found guilty, then he lied to a lot of people, including himself. Yesterday, Cameron was repeatedly interrupted by hecklers while testifying before Parliament on the scandal. And that's your political news update for Wednesday, July 20th. I'm Sarah Kajamko. Check back with RTTnews.com all day for the latest political headlines.